this is Fred Lears of Health Products Distributors and another Creating Health Naturally video. And today I am demonstrating a product called pH Adjust. Now I've demonstrated this product before so today I thought I would do something a little different. I'm going to show how to use pH Adjust in coffee. I've even done a ketogenic coffee video that used um, a variety of ingredients but today it's just going to be coffee and pH adjust. Now before I get into the, um, the actual demonstration, I want to talk a little bit more about pH adjust. Here's the new label. Get a good look at that. pH adjust is actually one of the most interesting products um, I've had the pleasure to use and to talk about from, from our company HPDI, Health Products Distributors. Um, this product is formulated to increase pH levels in the body. So in our civilization, there's a lot of people who are acidic for a variety of reasons. You know, um, diet, stress, um, those are the primary um, causes of, of acidity. Um, meats, um, animal foods are generally acid forming in the body. Certain other types like legumes and beans can be as well. Um, vegetables, on the other hand, are alkaline forming. And so this is really why it's important to eat more vegetables and fruits to a degree. Um, not all uh, vegetables are equally alkaline forming, but leafy greens, for example, extremely alkaline forming. And truly, you should first use um, diet as your first line of defense to keeping your body levels alkaline because the body likes to keep itself at a pH of about 7.35 to 7.45 and um, 7 being neutral so slightly on the alkaline side but that's not really always so easy to do in today's world um, otherwise people we wouldn't need to come out with a product like this um, so and when you're acidic it's not so good for your health um, any number of health issues um, can can be caused by um, acidity in the body and the body actually has to, to work really hard to maintain that alkalinity because if you're not eating an alkaline enough diet your body could actually take minerals from your bones to keep you to keep you more alkaline so I don't really think of this as a bone health product but you could look at it that way it's certainly a mineral supplement in addition to um, it's got it's got potassium bicarbonate and um, sodium bicarbonate and uh, magnesium carbonate so it's primarily um, uh, potassium that it that it contains the most of it's just 133.4 milligrams um, per one half scoop serving which is a pretty small scoop actually and then you get 99 grams of magnesium and then you get a small amount of sodium and there's a three to one potassium to sodium ratio in this product which is very well considered um, because the body needs more potassium than sodium I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this product now now let me show it to you first it is a fluffy white powder. It actually has a very neutral taste, so I'm going to put it in some black coffee that I brewed up. And uh, it comes with a little handy dandy scoop. And, um, you know, it actually has some potassium glycinate in it. And glycine is a, is a substance that actually tastes really good, so it's slightly sweet. Um, the potassium glycinate. The pH adjust, I don't know how sweet it actually is, but it's certainly a mild flavor. It's not going to overwhelm you in any way. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I've brewed up myself. I did a, uh, I did a pour over with some organic coffee. I'll show you my, the coffee I used today. We, we brewed up some organic Tierra del Sol. This is, uh, believe it, I believe it's a Mexican coffee. It's really good, actually. It's a medium, it's a medium roast. I drink all different kinds of organic coffees, mostly in the winter. And so, this is about, well, it's over 16 ounces, but I'm just gonna pour it into my mug here. I have a mug, and I'm gonna pour, I don't know, eight ounces, six ounces. Okay. So, I'm just going to take, you know, I don't really recommend if you're gonna if you're gonna do a large quantity, one to two scoops, but for a, for just a cup of coffee, I'm just gonna do 
a little less than one scoop. So, so here's about as much as I'm going to do. Now, before I actually do this, I'm going to show you something that was pretty cool. We sell um, pH strips. And uh, this is what a roll looks like. You can, we sell the actual rolls. And there's an indicator on here. And it, I'll, I'll hold up the little card. These show pH levels. Now, um, the yellow is, um, is acidic. And the blue is alkaline, all the way to purple. And the green is somewhere in the middle. So if you look on here, you'll see that 7.4 is the third bar from the right. So, you know, you really want to be blue, ideally. And if you're yellow or slightly greenish, you're acidic. So I'm going to test the coffee and we'll see what type of acidity levels the coffee actually has. Because I know a lot of people drink coffee. And so let's just dip it in there. Okay, so look. You'll see, this is a pH strip I've just dipped in there. So you see there's some streaks, but really it's pretty yellow. So if we look at the corresponding color on the card, we're looking at a 5.8, you know, bordering on a 6. And the general rule is, is that if you're a pH at 6.2 consistently, you are, you are generally extremely acidic. Um, and that this product would be, you would be a good candidate for trying this product. Okay now, so now that you've seen the card and you can compare the pH strip and see that this is a, the coffee is actually fairly acidic. Now in the body, I don't know if it would be as acidic in the body. There are certain foods, for example, oranges, which would be very acidic, say, on the teeth. But in the body, an orange will actually be alkaline forming. So it really depends. It really, what's most important is, is how alkaline forming something is. And I don't know, I'm assuming coffee would probably be somewhat acid forming, but certainly the coffee, um, not in the body, but on say the teeth is going to be, you're gonna have that 6.0. And that level of acidity can actually wear your enamel away. It can, um, in my case, what happened in the past was my teeth were getting softer and uh, you know they were getting a little chalky and um, no cavities or anything, just a little softer. So when I started using the uh, the pH adjust in my coffee, um, my teeth immediately got stronger. I mean, immediately. You know, there's the minerals and then it's it's alkaline forming. So that's one of the reasons I'm doing this video is because I'm speaking from personal experience on this. Okay, so now I'm just going to take about three quarters of a scoop of the pH adjust and put it directly into my coffee, and I'm thinking that's about eight ounces. Okay, maybe maybe a tad bit more pH adjust, just a, just a itsy bit. And by the way, <laughs> this is this this little container provides 250 servings. So you get 250 of these little scoops, and each scoop is a gram, so it's a 250 gram container. So that's a lot. That's, you know, one of these could last you a long time. I'd probably take two to three scoops a day Sometimes in water, sometimes in coffee. If I don't do coffee, I might put it in something else, um, sometimes just by itself. Um, but that still lasts me many months. All right, so now I'm just gonna give this a stir. You can see it sort of, it sort of settles on the top and begins, it slightly um, effervesces a little bit. It sort of disperses. So I'm just gonna stir it with a spoon. Give it a good stir. Of course, the warmer the coffee, or whatever drink you're drinking that you're putting your pH adjust in, um, the more easily it will dissolve. So you, it's better that it's not super cold. In the winter, if I'm putting it in water, I might add a little hot water, just a, just a little bit of hot water to sort of um, create um, something that the pH adjust can dissolve in a little better. Okay, so here's my coffee. And um, it, see, it goes right in. Those are just some bubbles. That's not actually pH adjust in the middle there. And I'm just gonna have a sip and see how it tastes. Cause the truth is it, the coffee would be good anyway. Mm, that is very good coffee. So that's pretty much it for my demonstration, but except I want to show you how the pH level of the coffee itself has changed. So I'm gonna get myself another one of these little test strips. 
And like I said, we sell these. You can get them lots of different places, drugstores, anywhere online. So I'm going to dip the pH paper in the pH just coffee. Okay, look at that. I've now I've demonstrated these types of things before, but look at the difference. I mean, that was that was not even a full scoop of pH just. And you can see, and I'll hold up the card for your your benefit. And I'll look here. Gosh, that might be that's at least 7.4 if not higher. And you can see, and judge for yourself, where that falls on that continuum. Okay, so I think that makes a pretty solid point about what the power of pH adjust can do. Now imagine you have acid coffee going on your teeth every day, and it's it's chewing away the enamel, or it's doing it's contributing to you know if it's it's if it's weakening your enamel in any way, and your diet's not like perfect, and you're not brushing your teeth many times a day, you know that can contribute to um, teeth issues. We've also heard from our customers that many of them have figured this out on their own, so it wasn't just me. They've independently figured this out, and so I'm sharing it with you. And you know. Um, I will often put a little bit of organic half and half, so I have some organic half and half today, but I'm thinking I'm actually going to enjoy my coffee black, or black with pH adjust, and as you can see, look, it's completely dissolved, there's no, there's no bubbles or res res residue or anything, just make sure the coffee is warm enough when you put the pH adjust in, and, and I've been drinking coffee like this for a, a while now and have yet to have any return of any type of tooth issues. And I'm certain the same would be, is true for other customers who've written in or, or spoken to me by phone and told me this. And so I'm hoping that you could benefit from this as well. So this has been Fred Lears with another Creating Health Naturally video showing you pH adjust alkalinizing formula. And by the way, you will also get all the other benefits of alkalinity. So it's not just a matter of your teeth. This alkalinizes your entire body and helps keep your entire body healthy. So this has been Fred Lears with another Creating Health Naturally video. If you like this video, you can click like on the video. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for Health Products Distributors, Inc. Or you can also go to our website, www.integratedhealth.com, where you can subscribe to our monthly newsletter and check out all our cool products, including pH Adjust. So thank you very much, and I will see you next time.